Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me here today. My name is Elise and I'm a certified yoga instructor. Today I'll be teaching with Zesty Fitness and Zesty Fitness prioritizes the mental and physical health of their clients. I'm so honored to be able to be here today and teaching you another yoga class. We will be doing a 20 minute yoga class for intermediate students. So this will be an intermediate vinyasa yoga class. So we'll be doing vinyasa flow throughout the class. It is created for intermediate students, but you can of course join as an advanced student. And if you're a beginner and moving into intermediate, this will also be a great fit for you as well. And I'll provide variations for each level so that everybody practicing can feel comfortable on the mat here today. So I just want to thank you all for taking the time to join me. And whenever you're ready, we're going to go ahead and get started on either a mat or just find a comfortable, quiet place within your house to practice. And we're just going to work through some different poses, some energizing vinyasa flow, and also do a cool down at the end to make sure that you're feeling calm, present, and ready for your day. So thank you again. And namaste, Elise. When you're ready, let's go ahead and meet up on our mats. Okay, so to begin, let's go ahead and meet in our hero's pose with the glutes rested down on the heels here, shoulders drawn back. Let's take a long, deep breath on our mat and exhale to release. One more time together, taking a long, deep breath in and releasing that breath back out into the universe. Now when you're ready, let's go ahead and put those palms down on the mat. We're gonna push up into a tabletop position. So in our tabletop position, we want those wrists to be directly under the shoulders and knees directly under the hips. So from here, we're gonna come into our cat and cow just to warm up. So inhale, arching up into our cat. And exhale, dropping the spine, gazing forward, coming into our cow pose. Inhale, rising that spine, dropping the neck. And exhale, lowering that back and gazing forward. So at your own pace, let's continue this for a few long, deep breaths. As we inhale, coming to cat. And at your own pace, with each exhale, Finding yourself in cow asana. One more time, let's inhale together, this time coming up into calf. And exhale, sinking down into cow. Lifting that chin all the way up. Now from here, let's go ahead and do some spinal rotations. So we're gonna inhale, moving towards the left side. Let's come up into our cat, making circular motion. As we exhale, leaning towards our right side, pressing down into cow. So making these circular motions with each breath. Go ahead and continue this for a couple long deep breaths. One more time going towards that left side as you inhale, arching the spine. And with each exhale, sinking over towards the right and lowering the body down. Now from here, let's go ahead and switch. This time as we inhale, we're going to move towards the right side of the body, lifting that spine up. And in a circular motion, as we exhale, let's drop towards our right side, lowering the spine and lifting the head. So inhale over to the right, this side. And now when you're ready, let's meet in that tabletop position. 
From here, we can inhale up into cat together. And from our cat pose, let's exhale, sinking back into our child's pose. So in our child's pose, let's go ahead and walk those hands out a little bit farther in front of our body and rest your forehead down on the mat in front of you. Taking a long, deep breath in here. On your next inhale, let's lift that left arm all the way up, gazing towards the fingertips. And exhale, we're gonna thread the needle, bringing that left arm all the way across to the right side. Breathing here. The next inhale, let's lift that left arm all the way back up, reaching towards the sky. Exhale, let's drop it straight in front of us here, resting that forehead back onto the mat. Inhale, we're gonna take up that right arm this time, gazing towards the fingertips. And as we exhale, we're gonna bring it down under that left arm, threading the needle here and resting the head back down onto the mat. Taking a deep breath here. And inhale, let's lift that right arm all the way back up again, gazing towards those fingertips. And as we exhale, let's drop it in front of the body, flat down onto the mat in our child's pose. Again, resting that forehead back down on the mat. Let's take a long, deep breath here. Sinking deeper into the stretch with your exhale. Inhale, let's gaze towards those fingertips, pushing the body up, and exhale, slowly lowering the body down, chaturanga on our knees, down onto our chest, flat onto the mat. So from here, let's go ahead and put those arms out slightly to the side, lowering your chest down. We're going to start, inhale, bringing up that right leg, flattening out the left arm. We're going to curl it over towards the left side of our body. Exhale here. Taking a long, deep breath, gazing towards that right side with the left shoulder extended. And inhale, let's lift that leg all the way back up to center and exhale to release it back down onto the mat. This time we're gonna flatten out that right arm. We're gonna press up the left leg as we inhale and exhale, sinking it across the body. We're gonna to gaze towards that left hand here. Long, deep breath. And inhale, rising that leg, we're gonna come back to center. Exhale, releasing it back down flat onto the mat. From here, when you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and put the palms directly underneath our shoulders and tight close to our chest and torso. Drawing the elbows in, let's push up into our cobra pose. So inhale, lifting up, making sure to keep those Elbows still slightly bent, drawing the shoulders back, sinking into the stretch. Long, deep breaths. On the next inhale, let's tuck those toes, curling them under our body. We're going to press up into an upward facing dog, straightening those elbows here. Inhale, lifting up and exhale, let's drop those hips back into our downward facing dog. So from our downward facing dog, let's make sure that we're evenly distributing the weight between our palms and our heels, shifting the pelvis up and back. From here, you can allow a generous bend with the knees if this is more comfortable for you. And let's go ahead and start by pedaling the dog, just pedaling those feet and walking the dog here. At your own pace, just getting comfortable in this stretch, bending your knees one at a time or both together. When you're ready, let's inhale, lifting up that left leg, coming up into our three-legged downward facing dog. As you exhale, let's bring that knee, drawing it to the outside of the elbow. Balancing here, 
Inhale, lifting it back up into our three-legged downward facing dog, making sure to keep the hips squared. Exhale, let's come over to the outside of that left wrist, keeping the leg up. Exhale, sinking back up into that three-legged facing dog. Inhale, we're going to bring it over to the right elbow. Exhale, back up. Inhale, this time let's bring that knee over to the right wrist. And back to that three-legged downward facing dog. Inhaling here. Exhale, let's drop that knee down between the wrists, coming up into our pigeon pose. So from pigeon, lifting up, drawing the shoulders back. You can exhale, sinking down onto the forearms and resting the forehead down onto the knuckles. Breathing here, stretching out the hip. And the next inhale, let's push up onto those fingertips, walking back to the center. Inhale, let's bring up that back right leg, coming up into our king pigeon. So with that right hand grabbing towards the foot, gazing towards the toes here. Inhale, drawing it in closer. And exhale, slowly lowering back down that leg. Bring our hands down to center. Let's inhale here, tucking the toes of that back right leg and lifting up off the mat. Let's exhale back up to that three-legged downward facing dog. Inhale a bit deeper and exhale to release back to our downward facing dog. From here, let's inhale, pushing the pelvis back further and exhale, dropping our knees down onto the mat. Let's take a moment to rest in our child's pose here. Sinking down into the mat. You can either move those arms out in front of you or you can go ahead and bring them to your side, meeting your palms to your feet. Just taking a few deep breaths here. Noticing the difference between the left and the right hip. And reconnecting to your body. Long, deep breaths. And the next inhale, let's bring those arms out in front into that child's pose. Exhale, resting here. Inhale, let's push back up into that tabletop, dropping down into a chaturanga. Let's inhale up into that cobra. Exhale here. On the next inhale, tucking those toes, let's lift up into an upward facing dog. And exhale, sinking back into that downward facing dog pose. Again, we can pedal the feet quickly here, just getting comfortable into the downward facing dog. And inhale, let's lift up that right leg, this time coming up into our three legged downward facing dog. Exhale here. Inhale, let's bring that knee over to the right elbow. Exhale, back up. Inhale, coming to that right wrist. Exhale, back up to our downward facing dog. Inhale, this time we're going to bring it over to the left elbow. Exhale, back up. One more time, let's inhale, this time coming to that left wrist. And exhale, pushing back up into our three-legged downward facing dog. Inhale, let's go ahead and bring that knee down between the palms. Exhale, sinking down here into our pigeon pose. Walking the hands to center, let's draw the shoulders back, opening the chest. And exhale, we can sink down onto our forearms here to deepen the pigeon pose here. Taking a long deep breath, sinking deeper into this stretch.
Inhale, let's push up onto those fingertips and come into our king pigeon. Reaching back with the left hand towards that left foot. Inhale, drawing it in here. Exhale, we're going to slowly release that leg back down onto the mat, placing our hands down in front of us here. As you inhale, let's tuck the toe on that left side. Inhale, pushing up into a plank, and exhale, sinking back into that three-legged downward facing dog. Inhale, pushing a bit deeper, and exhale, coming back down onto our mat into our downward facing dog pose. From here, let's inhale, gazing towards the fingertips. We can walk our feet towards our hands to meet into our standing forward fold. And exhale, sinking a bit deeper into the stretch. You can bend your knees here if this is more comfortable or keep them straight. Inhale, pushing up onto those fingertips. Exhale, back down. Inhale, gazing forward up on those fingertips. This time as we exhale, let's bend our knees and jump back into our high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, slowly lowering our body into our chaturanga, meeting the chest and chin back down onto the mat. Inhale, pushing up into a cobra. Breathing here. Exhale, sinking deeper. Inhale, tucking those toes to push up into an upward facing dog. And exhale, pushing the hips up and back into our downward facing dog pose. From here, let's go ahead. This time we're gonna inhale, we're gonna lift up the right leg this time, coming up into our three-legged downward facing dog. And exhale, bending that knee, let's slowly open up the hip here. And dropping that leg down, we're gonna meet into our wild thing pose. Breathing here. Inhale, picking that leg back up off the mat. Exhale, dropping it back into our downward facing dog pose. From here, let's go ahead. We're going to inhale, lifting up the left leg this time into our three legged dog. Exhale, slowly bending that knee and opening up the hips. Let's drop it over into our wild thing pose. Breathing here. Inhale. Lifting that leg back up and exhale, coming back down onto our mat in our downward facing dog pose. Inhale, gazing towards the fingertips. And exhale, dropping the knees back down, lifting into our hero's pose. So from our hero's pose, we can come forward and let's go ahead and lie back onto our mats. Coming into a reclined bound angle pose. So bringing the soles of the feet together, lie back into a reclined bound angle shavasana. Taking long deep breaths here. You can rest your arms on the inside of your thighs, allowing for a deeper stretch. Opening up the hips here. Inhale, placing the soles of the feet flat back down onto the mat. Exhaling here. Inhale, interlacing your fingers. Let's bring them towards the outside of our shins, drawing our knees in towards our chest and our knees to chest pose. Breathing here, you can make small circular motions with the hips. Exhale, dropping them over towards the left side of the body as we gaze towards the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, gazing towards the left side. Let's drop those knees over towards the right. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, releasing the legs down all the way flat in front of us into our Shavasana or corpse pose. 
Taking a long, deep breath, reconnecting to your body here. And when you're ready, let's inhale, coming back up into a seated position on our mat. Thank you so much for joining me here today. I'm so glad that you were able to take time for yourself today and join me for our intermediate 20 minute vinyasa yoga flow. Namaste. Elise.